Really? Just this one? I mean it when I say I didn't really want to talk about today's topic. It's just some medium rare internet beef that I think is just kind of worthless to go over. But so many people keep bringing it up to me that I feel I should at least talk about it to some extent. If Elmi so doesn't have So I'll go ahead and I'm cannonball waiting. into the septic tank and doggy paddle around for a bit. The main topic involves a banned YouTube creator that I'm sure you've all heard of before. His name is Sneeko. A lot of people compared him to like a diet Andrew Tate. He recently got banned and he still does make content elsewhere. And recently he started targeting me because I made jokes about his friends on the Fresh and Fit podcast, whom I think are beautiful clowns that do some very silly stuff that is entirely entertaining to make fun of. But Sneeko didn't see it that way because he's a very sensitive guy and he started writing their wieners to try and defend a blatantly outrageous story that one of them told about meeting a basketball player at a party, then being invited by that basketball player to a mansion, and then fucking a ton of girls at that mansion, thanks to the basketball player, which sounds like something a Tumblr account would have made up, and ending with, and everybody clapped. It was such a goofy piece of fan fiction, it felt like he was begging to be humiliated and made fun of, so... I started throwing some balls at the clown and dunking them in the tank. I made a video talking and joking about it, and Sneeko saw this, and he wasn't too happy, so he got offended on his friend's behalf, which of course is a very alpha male thing to do. I know Sneeko doesn't like that nomenclature, he never calls himself an alpha male and thinks that it belittles him, but his fan base is and has been red-pilled and thinks of him as like a no-nonsense kind of guy who tells it like it is, a man's man. And yet, Sneeko cries more than a 12-year-old going through puberty and has very public temper tantrums like a child who didn't get the Spider-Man toy they wanted for Christmas. So he was upset because I was making fun of them. He then makes a big rant about me, calling me a bitch, saying all kinds of things. He doesn't really make any points, he just insults my appearance a lot and makes very bold assumptions about me not going outside and shit like that, which of course has nothing to do with anything I was saying, nor does it debunk any of my points. Not that I was even really making points, I was just making jokes about a silly fucking story, and he's taking it as if I just gave a TED talk on monogamy, because for some reason he somehow gets lost in like this Winter Soldier episode, like this delusional fantasy, where he starts making a like a statement on monogamy, which of course had nothing to do with the video I made. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say names. Someone text me. He's in a monogamous relationship. Wait a minute. He's banned, isn't he? This gauge with the drama, even though I don't really want to. What I do want to talk about, though, is the Black Friday Moist Global merch sale, baby. A lot oh, of great thought. merch on Moist Global, where during like a twerking contest, they'd have cameras that would go like right into their ass and zoom in. It was fucking disgusting stuff. And I made a whole video talking about how fucked up it is that not only does it exist, but Netflix has promoted it and it's on their service. Regardless of what the intention was or what the message aimed to deliver from the director, it completely missed the mark. By using real child actors and doing the things that they did in the film, it became a movie that was only enjoyed by legitimate, real, self-admitted pedophiles. And I made a video talking about how gross that whole situation was. And Sneeko made a response to it saying that the outrage around this film is misplaced and it's actually a good movie. Americans are like, this is deplorable. I saw this commentator, Penguin Zero, who I, I actually like. There's not a lot of good commentators, but he's like, this movie is, is deplorable. There's nothing good about it. There's nothing. And it's like he didn't even watch the movie. It's just like he only saw the clips that were going to piss him off. Or he just got so triggered by the provocative imagery that he just, deplorable. Come on, man. Like, don't you see the reasons why she's doing what she's doing? Sneeko has said multiple times, even in his most recent rant, that he does like my content. Though I'm pretty sure he just says that to cushion the blow and, like, tiptoe around it, like, before insulting me. Just in case there's anyone in his chat that likes my content, he wants to make sure to not make them upset. So he makes sure to preface it by saying, well, I actually do like him, but and then goes on to get super personal about it. This was my first real exposure to Sneeko, and it's also the reason I don't care what his opinion is of me, because it's coming from a man who likes cuties. So why the fuck would it matter if he thinks I'm a bitch or anything like that? 
it legitimately couldn't mean less coming from a guy who openly defends a softcore child porn production. Okay, if I ever wanted to get canceled, it, uh, this is the video. I saw Cuties last night and it was it was pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. I went in ready to hate like everybody else. I, I saw the cover and it was I got clickbaited. So did you, you got clickbaited. The thing about Cuties is it's not an unrealistic film. Like yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not unusual now. And the people who are really mad about this aren't Gen Z. Now the reason I'm showing this isn't just to debate a multiple- I, I uh, debate sneak on this. Not debate, we had an argument and I'm uploading the YouTube video tonight. I'll show you guys. ...year old Sneeko video that he completely ate shit on and had the worst possible take of with this whole cutie situation. The reason I'm showing this is because I haven't liked him since I saw this side of him. I, I was aware that he made other content and apparently some of it was pretty good a couple years back, but once I saw this video, it just showed me a really weird guy who it seemed like really just wanted to be contrarian for the sake of it and makes terrible points in defense of this film for some reason. Like, even in your own video, you openly admit right there that yes, it sexualizes children. Full stop, that's not okay. That's a problem. Like, this girl, at one point, she takes a picture of her vagina and posts it on Instagram. Kids naturally just rebel. I like this movie because it's extremely provocative, but it's realistic. A major criticism of this film was that it's child porn that they were just showing these kids and that it's gonna bring a bunch of pedophiles in. I don't think so. Yeah, Sneagle fucked me up with this one because he turns to me and he goes, Zerka, you didn't even watch the movie. And I'm like, I gotta watch it to argue this? <laughs> and then Yassine makes a great point. Um, I'll upload, if Dead Hexer's in the chat, let him upload right now. I don't think so. Not more than anything else that's on the internet now. Or not more than beauty pageants in America. Y Yassine stops and goes, do you need to see pizza to know it's bad? Which still exists and are exactly what you see in the film. Do you go to beauty pageants to watch the kids, Sneeko? I certainly hope not. Just because the beauty pageants, which are fucked up, completely agree, just because those exist in the real world doesn't mean that that's justification for this movie. I feel like that should be obvious. You can't use this whataboutism like, oh yeah, Cuties has a lot of sexualization of children, but what about, you know, child beauty pageants? I mean, those are out there in the real world, so what's wrong with Cuties being on Netflix? I won't show you any more from this video, it's dog shit all across the board. But there is one more thing I'd like to highlight. Even when Sneeko started to rise to popularity, I didn't pay too much attention because, again, in my mind, he will always be that guy that for some reason fights for this film, which is just fucking weird. So he's always just been kind of a weird person to me that I don't pay too much attention to. But I couldn't help but take notice of one of his more recent viral clips where he openly defends getting cucked. Stuff. So I wanted to break this down like because this was imagine see, imagine seeing the girl you love like get fucked. This is years get ago. Fucked. You love her? Yeah, I do. I love her. Yeah, I love her. I was about to say I love this bitch. I'm like, no, nah, let me not say that. I love my. I remember when I first saw this clip. This is like a year ago, I think. My chat would spam, "Yo, say you're kidding," because I said I was gonna hunt him down and hurt him. Or like, it made a weird joke like that. But no, Stinko's a good dude. Thank you, my queen. And good you answer, allowed answer. the love of your life to get, to get fucked it. by another man. What happened to the other dude? Is there way? Is there way? I'm crazy. The first <laughs> time, as soon as I saw like three pumps in, I just got up and walked out. I'm just like, I can't. I can't this feels like a like comedy. Feeling bit. traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. To, I th but I think it's something everybody should do just to test. No! I know. You know what? It is a legitimately super sad thing to sit there and listen to because Sneeko is very clearly bothered by that whole situation but is trying to play it off like a deeper message like, no, this is actually a good thing. And in fact, I recommend every guy out there try letting their girl get fucked by another man. Then you'll know if it's real, if this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. It is fucking tragic to listen to. Now, I want to be clear. I have absolutely no problem with open relationships. I think everyone should be completely within the right to handle their relationships. How oh my God. However they see fit and whatever makes them happiest. Contrary to what Sneeko thinks about me, I have legitimately no issue with open relationships at all. But what Sneeko's talking about here isn't so much an open relationship, it's cuckoldry. You have watched your girl get fucked in front of you on at least two occasions that he talks about here. And you were right next to her, watching her get fucked, and one time you were so upset about it you had to leave the room after the third pump you said. You're clearly not really alright with this situation, you're for some reason forcing yourself to be okay with it. Like, I'm not trying to sit here and be an armchair psychologist like you try to do against me during your rant, 
but it really seems like you don't like it. And yet, for some reason, you're also trying to celebrate it and promote it like a good... He's a changed man. Alright, I already attacked him on this a year ago. That's my best friend. The thing. It's just super sad. Like, if you're fucking other girls and she's fucking other guys, that's one thing. But you being in the same bed that she is fucking another man in and the watching houses. her. And then even talking about how, like, upset you were about how much she was moaning. And the deep eye contact she was making with the man she was fucking in front of you. Like, you're you're not really okay with it, it sounds like. So stop trying to pretend <laughs> to be... Just like your other best friend, Destiny. This fucking guy, dude. <laughs> And stop trying to make it seem like this is a good, healthy thing for everyone that everyone needs to try. It's just pretty sad. So this is always in the back of my mind when he starts critiquing my relationship. Or really any relationship for that matter. Like what really gives you the right, especially when you're clearly in a very complicated situation in your own mind with your relationship. So, uh, I, like I said, I didn't really want to talk about this, but he apparently keeps shitting on me and, and making a big hoopla about it and people keep bringing it up to me. So I felt like I should at least address it in some capacity. So this is me talking about it and that's about it. So yeah. Do all of his videos end like that? So yeah.